guys welcome back to digimon master online um first of all i would like to thank you from the heart for your support and your subscription for the channel i really appreciate that and i'm really happy to see my channel growing day by day i'm really glad that you guys like the videos watch the videos thank you very much from my heart and i would like today to talk about guides on Digimon Master Online. So I'm gonna talk from the basic. I'm gonna start from way to the basic. From Tamers and Digimon. So Tamer and Digimon. So when you start the game, you're gonna see there's four free Tamers and four free Digimons that you're gonna start with. Each Tamer and each Digimon has its own specific things actually. So if you click C on your keyboard you're gonna see like your tamer menu and you're gonna see the items that you have on your tamer so those items and stats and everything I'm gonna explain about that later but right now I'm going to talk about uh, the basics way to basics and then I'm gonna next video I'm gonna talk about uh, those equipment and later on I'm gonna start like from zero and I'm gonna go step by step to, to the dungeons and stuff like that so it's gonna be from start it's gonna be guide from the start um, we have a digivice and then you have the skills so this is the menu that you need actually uh, we have the skills in here so actually this is the table this, this table is the same as here as you can see but I expanded this one because in order to use healing item and faster travel between maps like uh, jump to, uh, jump poster and those items and healing items as you can see and this is the place where I keep my tamer skill is well actually it's a Digimon place but I don't have the four expansion ones so yeah I'm just use tamer skill for that so each tamer has its own passive and active skill so for example uh, Hikari will give 30% of HP for all party members this is her active skill uh, what does it mean so it means if you are in dungeon raid or anything strong just right click if I right click on it as you're gonna see the Digimon level as uh, a Digimon HP sorry Digimon HP is gonna be increased and it's not just for you, just for uh, the entire party with you in the dungeon or in the raid or even in gameplay. And the passive skills are just as speci specifically for your Digimon. Are, ju are just for your Digimon, not for the entire party, just for your Digimon. So as you can see, if you just hover over uh, the, the icon, you can see like for what stat does Hikari gives her passive skills and for which type of Digimon so we talked about the tamers and every tamer has his own specific uh, skills so yeah you just have to pick up the tamers that you feel that you are comfortable with for example if you want uh, damage per second you can take uh, you can take Tai Chi because he's pretty good. His skill is, as I remember, 10% attack more, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you want to support, you can take Tai K or you're gonna take Hikari. She's gonna heal your Digimon. And that's gone with other Tamers and stuff like that. So we talked about the Tamer. Right now we're gonna talk about Digimons. So Digimons, as you can see here, there is uh, there is normal Digimon with burst mode. There's a Jogress Digimon. There's an X Evolution and Jogress X. So and there's a Hyper Spirit. So what what are those type of Digimons? What are those? All right. Uh, so for example, Kaiser is a Hyper Spirit. What does it mean? If you watch uh, season four, you're gonna know actually what do I mean when I say it's a Hyper Spirit. Um, for example, if you just click on, you're gonna see him right there, ready Digimon to fight. 
but that doesn't mean the other Digimons like him are Hyper Spirits. Hyper Spirits uh, Digimon are usually uh, really hard to get and really expensive to get to be honest. They don't have any evolution line so we can say that only Kaisa and Magna are the Hyper Spirits and their evolution as well is a hyper spirits you know the other type are not the hyper spirits so we just have three digimons that are hyper spirits uh, so in order to have those you have to talk to pokemon as you can see and you have to get books just called books pokemon books so if you so those books you're gonna buy them from player or you can just um, buy it from the shop and sometimes but it's been a really long time since they gave away free books on the game so you just need a book you need a spirit spirit cards you can get spirit cards from playing doing quests and stuff like that and then you have to, to defeat it and to get it to get the card to, and after that you just come to here we give him um, the item with the book and then we're gonna click on get actually it's right now it's gonna show you like zero byte but it's uh, it's 500 mega when you want to hatch it to the shining one so in order to get that you need as you can see hyper spirit uh, you need like to level all the digimons to 99 they are like 20 digimon 10 digimon for magna and 10 digimon for geyser and those together are gonna be like <coughs> 20 Digimon to level to 99. I still remember uh, when I did that, it's really took really long time and it was so hard to do. It was really pain, but it's totally worth it. He's a pretty strong Jokeris evolution, so yeah, why not? And getting the books were kind of a problem as well because the books were really expensive and you have. When you are leveling your Digimon, you have to farm data, you have to farm items and send it back again or exchange it with books or you have to use cash shop. It was pretty hard to do actually. And let and not that only, you have to pay for him like 500 mega in order to hatch for from normal one to shining one. Besides that, you have to pay 1 Terra in order to make Kaiser and 1 Terra in order to make Magna. Alright, so those are Hyper Spirits. Dynamon is a normal uh, Digimon with a burst mode. Uh, normal Digimon with a burst mode are common in this game, but most of the people are using uh, Digimons with Jogresses because Jogresses are more stronger actually than the burst mode Digimon. Uh, before the balancing the gameplay, every Digimon was playable, every Digimon was strong as well. But after they balanced the gameplay and they balanced the Digimons and added ranks, uh, normal Digimon with burst mode became kind of weak, not that strong as before as they were and Jogresses became more stronger and stronger but not all Jogresses just a new release Digimon Jogresses became more stronger than the previous one uh, that's not our um, thing to talk about uh, the thing that we are gonna talk about is just uh, difference so normal Digimon like Renamon or Impomon or Xvmon um, the old one, the old version, not the new version. They are all normal Digimons with normal evolution. So as you know, Digimon has a Rocky. He has a Rocky and he has a capsule or as they said in the in the Digimon series, uh, armor evolution. And then you have a champion. You have ultimate and mega and then at least became the burst mode. So I'm gonna make it this more clear as you can see. 
mega and then the burst mode the burst mode is the most strongest uh, the most strongest uh, form of the digimon that you have so if we chill off to the mega as you can see now in order to to digilove to burst mode those digimon requires you to have accessilator so if you the accessilator you can get it sometimes from event um, i think from players as well or even when you are farming in the game like when you're collecting data and stuff like that and I think as well sometimes from Kolo we used to get accessilator from there back then and I think they still leave it in there if I'm not mistaken it should be still there from the Kolo daily so let me just go quick and check it yeah you're gonna get accessilator as well from Kolo like every day you every time you finish or you done a run or you collect like uh, 20 points you're gonna get uh, 15 accessilator so this digimon to digilove to burst mode they're gonna need three accessilator in order to digilove to the burst mode and by the way i forgot about talking about kaiser and magne uh, those are special type their jokers are on 99 Jogress uh, quest is gonna start on 99 and they need something called the spirit accessilator uh, so a spirit accessilator you can get it from normal spirits cards after you get spirits you can just uh, scan it and you're gonna get spirit accessilator or fruit of champion and that's what you're gonna have so to start every Jogress quest in this game Jogress Digimon are strong like we have Alphamon or you can we have Omega Moon, we have Zwart, we have Alter S, and we have too many Jogger's Digimons. Too many. I know there's too many Jogger's Digimons. Every Jogger's Digimon and every Jogger's Quest starts with our friend here, Kalumon. So Kalumon is gonna give you the start of the Jogger's Quests. Oh, he's pretty cute and beautiful Digimon. Uh, he's gonna give you the start. Uh, quests for your Jogress and as well as you're gonna finish his, the Jogress quest from him actually so he's the only one which gonna gives you the Jogress quest not anyone else sometimes not always sometimes there's a Jogress that not start with Gallimore start like from Digivice or start from Richard inside or sometimes start from another NPC but the most of Jogger's quests are start with Kalumon. Uh, so if you have like a Jogger's quest, you're gonna see he has the same, um, the same. Uh, what can I? I don't know. It's, he has the same point like this, right? Jogger's can digilove with two level Digimon. Uh, to digilove to Jogger's, actually, uh, you have to digilove from the weaker Digimon. So for example, I have Castle here 114. If I have Magna 113. I can digilove from Kaiser and I can do the joggers with the Kaiser. I have to do it with Magna. And the same with others, all other joggers. If I have like Magna 115 and Kaiser 114, I only can go joggers with, with the Kaiser. If you noticed me on gameplay previous episodes, how did I keep change between Kaiser and Magna, Kaiser and Magna in order to get them in the same uh, level as they are? Because if I leveled all the way up with Kaiser to 120 and Magna is 114, so I can digilove with Kaiser, I have to digilove with Magna. So the Digimon level is gonna be low. And that's why I keep changing between two Digimons. I want both of them to level at the same time. So I don't want have really pain or really problems when I'm playing or using the Jogresses. Uh, now we're gonna talk about... Um, I don't know, this video is kinda long, but I'm gonna talk about it. I want to cover all the Digimon's type. Uh, Digimon's has two attributes. One are the attributes and one is the type. So as you can see, um, Yeah.
Damn. Talk about uh, a little bit about the type of Digimon. Uh, we have the type of the Digimon and the attributes. So each time you get confused by not knowing actually what your Digimon is stronger about, stronger more. So just click X and you're gonna see. For example, here the arrow are ups. That means you have advantage on them. And then the arrows are down. That means you are kind of weaker against those type of Digimon. So for example, I have here a fire Digimon right now. If I um, had another thunder Digimon, so the attribute is not gonna do anything. The element is not gonna do anything. It's gonna come about the type of the Digimon. And if the boss are the same, that means a really long time to do the quests <laughs> or to kill that Digimon. But if you have like the advantage on them, that means it's easier to do. But if the other Digimon has an advantage on you, that means you have to keep on healing and keep on using skills just to survive that. Oh. Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about X evolution. So some Joglasses actually requires you to have three Digimons with you. For example, Xero. Uh, Xero Joglas is required to have three Digimon with you at the same time. That means I can't go Joglas with one Digimon. I have to use one of three in order to get the Joglas, as you can see. And we're gonna come and talk about right now the X evolution. I don't have actually any X Digimon, any X Joggers Digimon, I just have normal uh, X Digimon. So if we come here to Duromon, so Duromon and his X line. By the way, every time you want to evolve from normal. At a normal line, you have to get evolutors. Evolutors are kind of easy to get. You can get it from um, from login table in here, or you can buy it from players. Sometimes you can get it from event. Other time you can get it from just shops. It depends on event and how the event is. Okay, uh, so. In X Evolution, X Evolution has something else. It's harder and stronger than the normal evolution. So normal evolution, as you can see, it's just a normal with Jogress, but the X Evolution is something else. X Evolution requires you to have X Digivice, any type of X Digivice, doesn't matter. And requires you to have the X antibody uh, think that you can get it from tickets or you can buy it from players or you can try your luck with uh, if you come here and wait a second we gonna come to evolution no etc and yeah it's weird Or you're gonna try your luck with X antibody items that you can buy and keep on scanning, scanning, scanning until you get uh, the Digimon that you want or the Digimon that you need. I don't see any of that, that's really weird. Alright, so um, wherever. So you're gonna need. Um, X uh, evolution item. Wait a second. So I have one here, character bound. It's gonna be something like this, like this one. I'm gonna see it's X antibody factor for work Garurumon. It's something else, totally different. With this, I can unlock the evolution for work Garurumon. But for the previous evolution, I can't unlock it. I have to get the entire line in order to unlock the Jogress or in order to unlock the Mega. Uh, so this thing doesn't work on your Digimon DS. Meanwhile, other evolution work on your Digimon DS, but this one is work on on this green item that's called X antibody. So just right click, charge your Digivice, and evolution. It's pretty easy to do and hard as same as it is. It's uh, the difference is here is stronger. X, the X Digimons are stronger than the normal one. Uh, has more HP. Has better skills and way too strong 
so you can like do uh, quests with them, really hard dungeons with them, quests you don't have to do quests with them, they are already strong, just level them up and go on with your quests and do the dungeons, the dungeons are the things that are important in this game okay so we talked about X evolution, we talked about normal evolution, geographies we talked about hyper spirit evolution so okay let's see this tool for example he doesn't have anything but he just write alpha on or can X alright so this was the video for today I know it's kinda long but I'm sorry for that to make it a little bit long but I wanted to cover as far as I can and before I go I just remember that there's skills uh, skills can be increased by leveling your Digimon and keep on clicking to improve the power of your skills and the type and the element uh, you can level those up by returning an empty digi egg if you return those empty digi egg you can level both of them up or if you just have to go and um, defeat a Digimon that you have an advantage on him until you have it fully 100% so as strong as it is um, much better it is and the stronger your Digimon it is and by the way I don't recommend you guys to remove it from your Digimon because if you remove it from your Digimon your Digimon is gonna become weaker so I really don't recommend to do that to get an attribute in order to get a specific Digimon so you remove your attribute from the previous Digimon and your previous Digimon is gonna be weak so I really hope you guys enjoyed that please don't forget to tell me if you have any ideas or anything specific you want me to talk about in Digimon Master Online I play since 2016 Digimon Master Online I stopped a little bit on it but I keep on going and I'm keep on in touch with the game so I hope you guys really enjoyed that Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you have anything, any question, just write down in the comment. I'm really be happy and be glad to answer your question. I hope you guys enjoyed that and see you next time.